So today I'm going to be analyzing a match in which I dropped damn near 40 kills. I got 37 in this match, but just because I fragged out doesn't necessarily mean I did everything right. And I think it's important to analyze pretty much all of your demos if you're trying to improve to see what you could have done better in different situations or what you did wrong in other situations. And just because you won a situation doesn't mean it was the right thing to necessarily do. Just because it worked doesn't mean it was good. So running right into short here, I do check the boost spot, which is a good thing to do every time you do that because it's a pretty common thing to do. And I'm going to be running right into the bomb site, and that's not the best thing to do. I didn't really clear any angles, just kind of relying on my teammates, which you'd think, how the f how did I not die here? What? Uh, you, would, you would think you can trust your teammates, but they don't have eyes all around their entire head, so they can't check every single angle. And I do end up going down, I think, from, yeah, from Monster here. So again, not really expecting that push that fast. So we did end up winning that round, and we're going to be going to the second round. I'm going to be nading Fountain just because I'm kind of expecting CTs to nade stack it, which is a pretty common thing for them to do after they lose the pistol round, just trying to get some free damage, some free kills. And not my best spray of all time there. I was moving a little bit when I was trying to spray him down, but luckily my teammate had my back. So thank you, Mr. Canary. And kind of a crappy peek right there, especially because my teammate was close to him. I could have just been a little bit patient or followed him to try and get the trade if he did go down. And in addition to that, um, when... Oh, oh! Sorry, dude. Um, when I jumped, he probably could have seen me in connector before I could see him. And I should have closed the door behind me there, as these CTs were pretty fast behind us. And having that door closed would have had a little bit of an audio cue there for the CTs. And it would have made it harder for them to shoot me in my back while I was throwing that smoke. So again, I could have closed that door. That's what I could have done better. It would have saved me a little bit of money here buying into the next round. So we're going to be heading towards Fountain again. I'm going to be doing the same thing with a nade. Um, did throw it a little bit late there. Could have thrown it, you know, much earlier. Would have landed roughly the same spot. And if I had gotten domed and just fucking taken down while my nade was cocked there, could have dropped out my teammates, done a little bit of damage to them, and given an advantage to the other team. Luckily, they, my teammates were ahead of me, and that didn't happen, but food for thought for later. So I went to peek long here. I did drop the bomb behind me. That kind of did two things for me. One, if I died, I want to give control to the bomb. Uh, to the CTs. While, yeah, it was still long, they could have been more difficult for our teammates to get it, and the CTs could have just opted us down or shot us down if they did have an op, which obviously they don't. It's the third round. However, food for thought, again. I am supporting my teammate here as he pushes onto the side. I was checking his backside, and he does end up going down. I'm kind of waiting for my teammates to push up and support me. At this point, just one teammate. He's going to be able to get the bomb down. I'm kind of using the edge of the smoke here to expect a guy pushing bank, and he does push as soon as I look away, which is just CSGO timing, and I do end up taking down Cyclone there at the dumpster while my teammate was planting, so again, just kind of holding his back there as he's uh, planting. Now here, way too impatient. I knew where he was, my teammate called him out, and I'm pretty sure I heard him. I should have just waited for him to push out, and that kind of lost us the round, me not being patient and not just waiting for my teammate to kind of engage him and peek together, get the trade frag if we needed. And I kind of did give that third round here to the CTs. So we're on a bit of a lighter buy here. Have a MAC-10 myself. I should be going first, um, just because I have the lesser weapon. Especially with the MAC-10, just kind of hold W and spray. My teammate, nice little peek there onto the boost spot. We do have information that there are people in connector, at least one. Throwing a nade there, trying to uh, draw him back, do a little bit of damage. Little jump peek there. And again, I have a MAC 10, so I don't really care that much if I die. I'm just kind of playing for information, playing for um, my team, trying to support them as much as I can. But I'm going to be holding this headshot angle, so when they open that door, it's going to be much more difficult for them to shoot me, and I should be able to hit them much easier. Pretty good idea, especially given the weapon disadvantage I have against this guy in connector. He's not going to be peeking. Not the best flash. I don't think that's really going to flash anybody. But again, I'm going to be full blind here, but I'm going to be trying to make this MAC-10 work for me as a kind of decoy at the very least, but my teammate ends up killing him, and I do pick up the AK. I do hear somebody heaven, so I do get that information out. should hear him drop down at this point. I'm just kind of watching heaven, waiting for him to make a silly little peek. Getting Again, getting a little bit impatient, making sure he's not sneaking up on my teammate, though. Looks like another fountain play here. Again, getting that nade in case they nade stack, which in this case looks like they are kind of stacking in that area. You take down Bell pretty easily. He kind of just walked right into my crosshair there. Looks like they're mostly going into connector, which is just another common play.
I ended up spotting that guy just sitting on the shelf, but I do get shot from behind. I guess I didn't realize there was a guy behind us. I thought it might have been that guy in connector, even though he didn't even know we were there. But still, pretty simple eco, anti-eco round. So I see the smoke go down, just kind of spraying party. A lot of times there will be a smoke there and the CT will jump up into party, kind of hiding behind the smoke. A little bit of a one-way, depending on how you throw it. So I'm just kind of preemptively spraying that down, just in case. So I grabbed the bomb, gonna be expecting someone to be behind us at this point, as it's a two versus five situation. And just kind of taking our time trying to see if anybody will give us anything for free, which so far they haven't. So I'll be meeting up with my canary here, my teammate. Again, watching his back, just in case anybody's gonna be pushing behind us, because a lot of times in these situations, the CTs will just kind of get a little bit cocky and push for free kills or just for information. I was kind of expecting somebody to be there, and then I peeked, he kind of, uh, timing dust a little bit there. We're a little bit, uh, a little bit scared trying to make something work here. I do end up closing the door this time, which is lesson learned, apparently. Smoking off heaven. Gonna be mollying off barrels there. And at this point, the CTs are gonna be full on rotating. And a little bit of a rough spray there, but I do take him down. Low HP, though. Barely get the bomb down. I thought that nade was gonna kill me. And I'm kind of just dead at this point and just trying to get some free money from the bomb. And I do end up getting that accomplished, so we do kind of get more than we should have in that situation. But not a whole lot we could have done besides just, I guess, killing them all. But they were playing that fairly well. I'm not making any unnecessary peaks. And here's the CT jumping up into towards party again using that smoke cover. He does catch my teammate off the guard. Grab his AK, trying to get that trade frag. Do a little bit of damage there, but not enough to get the the trade frag back in our favor there. Not the best flash there, but does actually end up blinding that guy, so I guess it was a kind of a decent flash. And I do end up taking him down, kind of trying to tease the op here, trying to get a little pre-fire on him, but doesn't really work. Lucky I didn't get clipped there, but at this point my teammate did Kind of say, hey, we should pull back and head towards another location, maybe B, but not necessarily long, just because of that op, and we have AKs. And we also don't really want to give up another frag, as it's a 3 versus 3 situation. We can kind of exploit that by seeing where, one, the op is, and going anywhere but there, and two, finding a place where there's only one person holding. And Metal Size gets a nice kill there onto the B site. The B site is ours. We're kind of clearing all our angles, covering our bases, and at this point, we're just kind of holding out, waiting for them to push us. Looks like the CTs are going to go for a retake. And at this point, I'm like, okay, my teammate should have our back here from short. I'm gonna go help out Metal Size on site, and... Just missing my shots there, that's all that was, honestly. It just kind of not the best peak, and I missed my shots. The CTs actually won that two versus three, which they absolutely should not have, especially because they're both kind of low at this point. But we could have uh, set up a little bit better on the post plant situation. Again, heading towards Fountain like the good old days, like the good old times, and again, pre-firing that smoke. Again, just because that's kind of a little bit of a one-way, don't want to get picked by an op or even just an M4. And we're already in a two-man disadvantage, so we're going to have to play it a little bit slower. In these situations, you should play a little bit slower, trying to get any kind of free kills that you can. Flashing over, trying to get a little bathroom peek here. And I do spot the guy, so I give that information to my team. And this guy, he made a really bad peek there. He should have just kind of played around the corners there, gave us a free kill. And that guy behind me kind of scared me, even in this moment. But I do end up getting the trade frag. Two versus three situation. And that's gonna, gonna give us a little bit more of a chance in this round. I do end up picking up an AK too, so that's a little bit more of a advantage for us. We'll take all we can get at this point. Again, this guy made a kind of a silly feat. They should have just been holding angles. They're kind of giving us free information, free kills. Another little headshot onto that guy. And Cat's low HP. I don't know if we know that at this point. I don't quite recall, but that's going to help us out in the end. We should be heading towards the B site here. I'm not sure why my teammate is going on his own up there. Pretty sure I did say, hey, come, come B. But I should be able to get the bomb down. I just kind of YOLO plant here, hoping that there's nobody here. Eh, no. 
I did have the information that they were both A, so I'm trying to take a sort of aggressive situation, trying to isolate in one versus one. I don't get the shot off onto that guy, but in that situation where there's a two versus one, you want to try and take as many 1v1s as you can, so that's why I was kind of heading towards stairs. In that case, it didn't work out, but you definitely want to try and isolate 1v1 situations in any kind of one versus X situation. Just almost nuked my teammates off the face of the planet. And Bell did kind of hop into party there, but I was a little bit slow on the spray there. On the pre-fire just because of my poopy nade. Hey, bad nades happen to everybody, even pros. I'm going to be switching it up a little bit here. We did lose that round, so we're on an eco. going to be hitting connector here quite fast. They did hit us with the boost, so we should know that there's at least two people there by graffiti. Not the best flash, kind of didn't blind me that much. And I do get to jump onto this guy, grab the FAMAS, and I don't have any armor, so I'm trying to ask my teammates if anybody has armor. Nobody does, though. So I'm going to be holding onto that, trying to get anything done that I can with it. And a little bit of aim punch there. Not able to hit any shots here. This is kind of just like a spray and pray situation. I know I'm kind of dead at this point, so I'm trying to get any kind of economical damage I can at this point in time. I am kind of expecting somebody to come from behind, but I don't think this guy ever does. I do end up actually getting that kill, just kind of desperately trying to either stay alive or get another kill and maybe get the bomb down. But again, he throws a smoke and time's only at 50 seconds. Waiting for this guy to come behind me. Doesn't really seem to, and I'm pretty sure right there my teammate dared me to push the smoke, and I did. But in that situation, don't push the smoke. Alright, looks like we're calling for a B hit. That's not even the right spot to uh, spam, so pro tip. Not really a pro tip, but just a tip. Don't spray right there, because it's not going to do anything but waste ammo and give away your position. Grabbing the bomb to head back towards B. My teammate is actually... Or both of my teammates there are getting some nice kills. Taking control of the site pretty quickly. Some one versus five situations, so we should win this round pretty easily. We're going to be heading towards the B site again, just like last round. Um, it seems like we kind of realized that their B players might be a little bit weaker at this point. Decent little flash. Kind of got juked by the uh, decor right there. And just not able to hit my shots right here. That's kind of part of the problem with his headshot angle. I don't know how that guy didn't kill me, so kind of miraculous that I did get that kill. And again, just not able to hit my shots there. He does end up taking us both down. Again, heading towards the B side, just kind of going balls out, trying to push it. Good smoke from the CTs there to uh, delay us quite a bit. Do end up getting two kills, kind of equalizing a little bit, but then Cat just trades it again. So we're kind of in a bad situation right here. We do have bomb control still, but I'm low HP and metal sides. Oh, he ends up going down anyways. So I'm trying to just get them to push me at this point. I do hear this guy coming behind me. I do end up managing to take him down. And again, I'm waiting for that guy right there to peek me, hoping that I can kind of get a free kill there. And I'm at 4 HP, so it just takes one bullet. I'm going to have to hit just two headshots and apparently ace for the round. But I don't think much gets done here. I think I end up just dying. Nearly get fucking shot through the smoke right there. So at least that flash did give me information where this guy was. I was hoping to kind of catch him off guard. He does spot me in the peak there. I thought he kind of jumped up on top of the box right there, but he didn't. And just uh, miss my miss my spray. No headshot there. Another round for the CTs. Gonna be a quick connector play. And then kind of a, a light buy for the CTs here on the last round, just because we've been doing so much economical damage. And a nice little entry for beta. Close that door, I don't want any uh, other CTs pushing behind us. And this is kind of a quick, easy round for us, honestly, just because of the we have full utility, full weapons, and again, the CTs, just that economy. They won the round, but they had so many casualties that they weren't able to afford much. So this should be another easy round, unless Cat does something crazy here, which I don't really foresee. It is possible, though. He's already kind of on the road there, but we do end up winning that round. Now on the CT side, we're going to be holding with our USP. Looks like it is going to be a B take. I hear this guy running out. I do get a nice little headshot onto him. Another nice little headshot onto Cyclone. Already in a 5 versus 3 situation. We should be able to win this, but BTs will end up catching some nice headshots themselves and equalizing it. Both low HP though, so we just need to get a couple body shots or just a straight up headshot. My teammate does end up going down. I get gooshed immediately. I'm kind of in a tight spot here, you know, I, I can be flanked from two different angles, and 
I actually end up taking that guy down, but I have three bullets in my name. And does he let me reload? He does not. He just ends up taking me down. And if I had hit my headshot there, that would have been awesome, but... We kind of threw that situation away. It was a five versus three. We could have just held angles, waited for them to push us, or waited for teammates to push up behind them while they're trying to push onto site. Not the best played, but we do end up losing the round. I do end up buying the MP9 in this situation. I have a little bit of money, and I probably should have saved in this situation, but I'm trying to get a little bit of a surprise buy onto them. Teammates do call that they are heading towards A. I do hear them stomping around in bathrooms. Nice headshot from Beta. I have one flash to work with, so that could help me a little bit. End up throwing the worst flash of all time, though. It doesn't really do much. I wasn't really expecting them to be that close that fast, but I end up getting one kill. Not really worth it, especially on the second round, but should be a pretty easy round for the T's here. Should make it 10-7. Alright, we got a... Big old buy here. I have a FAMA, so luckily I was able to fort that. I didn't go for the head armor just because they have AKs at this point. It's not going to matter if they headshot me. A little bit of nade damage there. Actually, no nade damage. I thought we would have walked right on that, but it looks like it popped behind the wall. So the biggest thing here is I'm just being patient. We haven't seen the bomb, so we do know that it could go towards B or it could be anywhere. He could even just be saving. But we don't really want to give him any free 1v1 situations. That's why I have a teammate here on site. Uh, up towards heaven, just in case he can get that trade frag and doesn't give him, again, those 1v1s. So this round I want to highlight that Metal Sides gave me his M4 in place of my FAMAS. He's being a supportive player in this role. He's like, hey, you're fragging out a little bit harder than me. Um, I think I'll be able to make the M4 work better than I can, so take it. And that's an important thing to kind of have a little bit of humility in your games. You're not going to be able to frag out every single game. Some games you might drop... I don't know, 10 kills the entire game, but if you're helping your teammates by dropping them weapons, using your utility usefully, then you're still contributing, especially if you're winning rounds. So, scoreboard is not definitely indicative of how well you're doing for your team. There's more to winning than just getting kills. But going to this round is going to be an eco round for the T's. Just kind of throwing some utility out, trying to delay the T's as much as I can, maybe do a little bit of damage with some nades. And just kind of dancing around this pole and dancing between the barrels. I do spot them at this point, call it out. Middle size engages with them, so I do kind of help me out by peeking. Take two down while they're distracted looking at him. And I don't know how that guy didn't kill me, but I got lucky and I end up taking that guy down. And just kind of an easy eco round for us. Um, four gills, pretty good, but that guy that was on site should have easily killed me. I kind of got lucky there. But I was just kind of using my teammate, kind of letting them be focused on him while I peek. They weren't aware I was there. Um, a little bit of baiting, but yes, we ended up taking the round, and I believe Metal Sides did survive. Yeah, he did. So this Molly actually just lands in the tunnel and kind of delays him a little bit. It gives you the opportunity to push short if you really want to. Not the best smoke right there. It lands a little bit deep, and they could have also been more over here at this point, so I could have thrown that earlier or thrown it a little bit shorter so that it kind of pops right here looking like an eco around here for the t's demo's kind of messing up a little bit so i apologize for the glitchiness but let me throw in that same molotov trying to delay them and i'm gonna have an m4a1s here which is kind of important considering the spot i'm playing i'm playing a bit of a more aggressive role and i get steamrolled by the tech nine so in that situation i should have played a little bit more passively especially knowing that it was probably going to be an eco round i did give them a free weapon which luckily metal sides hit some nice shots and takes them down, and we end up winning the round regardless, but in that situation I should have played probably down on ramp here, or by barrels. But I was trying to switch it up a little bit, and end up kind of costing me. So it's going to be another gun round from the T's here, and I'm going to be again throwing that same Molotov. So I'm going to be heading back to barrels, I throw a pretty decent little nade, do quite a bit of damage to Bell there, almost 40. And now I'm in kind of a sticky situation. Um, one nade could take me down if they just bounce it off of that little pillar right there. I only get one kill here and end up getting taken down. So it's a four versus three situation. So Metal Sides and I are going to be in a two versus four retake situation. We probably should have saved here, um, but we were hoping if we push on the site fast enough, we could catch them off guard and try and get a couple easy kills. But we ended up actually going down and losing that round. And now our money is not looking exactly the best. I mean, we can still probably buy most of us. Um, but I'm pretty broke, and so is Canary, so we're going to have a couple of drops. If we lose this round, our money's going to be pretty pretty oh, man, dire. I it. We do end up getting some buys in here. 
So I'm just kind of shoulder peeking this. I do spot this guy in monster and I throw a flash to make him back off a little bit. It does seem to work, and then I'm going to rotate my position so he doesn't know exactly where to pre-fire. I'm going to be playing behind Pillar here, kind of supporting Metal Size as my teammate is there. Uh, holding my monster, and Metal Size actually calls out that he's low, so I make the aggressive peek to end up taking him down and getting that trade frag, which puts us in a little bit more of an advantage. But again, I'm going to be changing my position. I do hear information that there are guys coming from Connector. Let me hear one jumping down, so I end up spraying. Don't connect anything, but I still do try and get that damage done. Unfortunately, I just end up giving away my position without getting any damage. But I'm going to be not playing aggressive here, just so I don't give anything free away. I'm going to be playing here graffiti. My teammate does get a nice op shot onto Cat. And I hear them at this point heading back up towards Connector, so I make that call to make sure that we have at least one player on the A site. I believe both are on there right now, so I'm going to say, hey, I'm just playing for information right now. Again, I hear them coming towards short. My teammates are going to be rotating pretty quickly, so I'm not going to be peeking until I realize that there's at least one person in heaven and they're close enough. My teammate is now in heaven. Make some shots trying to connect anything, give them a little bit of a distraction, and my teammates end up just cleaning up that round. And again, I didn't do much that round. I got one kill, one easy kill, but just being here and being alive and giving them that information kind of gave us a little bit of an advantage so that we could rotate early. Looks like it's going to be a fast B rush here from the T's. Uh, fire does slow him down a little bit, but Daisy doesn't care. He's going to be running right through the molly. And I'm kind of fiddling with nades here, which is kind of kind of crappy. Uh, metal side is not going down because of it. I'm not able to return fire fast enough. I do take one down. I take another down. Just kind of some, some simple, easy shots there on some weaker opponents. And end up taking that round. Pretty decent hole for me, but again, I could have not been fiddling with my nades and supporting my teammates. And we would have had a lot more of an economy because they would have lost the armor and the weapons. Looks like they're going to be going for another fast B play here. My teammate plays aggressively, gets two, three nice kills onto them. Two versus five situation, we should be able to clean this up easily. Just got to be patient, again, middle side, another little kill onto Cat. Meow meow. So again, throwing that molly to delay them there in tunnels. And I'm going to be changing my position a little bit, because I've been playing the same spot, now my teammate's playing the spot that I've been playing, but... I'm just changing my position here, making it a little bit harder for them to guess where I am. Playing a, bit, a little bit of a headshot angle. And now we have information that the bomb is heading towards A. Have a teammate die there, so I'm going to be on the rotate. Now it is a 3 versus 3 situation. They had to kind of equalize it. But I'm going to be throwing a smoke long here, trying to delay them until my teammates can get in better positions. Or at least one. I should hear them pushing out now. Smoke goes down. I'm just trying to play a little bit of a passive angle here so that I can wait for my teammates to support me. I'm getting kind of sussed out a little bit here. Do end up taking one down. Um, take another one down, and I believe I take this last guy down. He just straight up whipped his shot. That was kind of a unfortunate situation for him, but that is my uh, 37 kill game, and that is what I did wrong, and some things that I did right. As always, thank you all very much for watching, and see you next time.